All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another cast here. And today we're having a look at the European server. And we have a look at Kieran Turney, a Kaisa player. Very interesting. We are going to go for a very aggressive setup here. Both of them will, both of the AD carries that is, will be running the Doran's Blade, which is pretty much a level 1 item. After that, you gain more regeneration and sustain out of a long sword and three potions. Realistically, although of course, if you were going to play 30 minutes off the lane, of course, without recalling, of course, then the blade gives you more regeneration. But in any realistic time frame, you're going to get more regeneration from the potions. And um, still have a more money efficient item set up as well. Okay. Today, YouTube just uh, doing me dirty. Uh, I recorded a cast today earlier as well. Just randomly threw in uh, advertisements and elsewhere. I, I don't know. It's kind of illegal, but it is what it is. As Kaisa definitely seems to be a little bit of a flavorful champion right now. So we're going to see whether or not we will maybe see that on, or maybe LC, LCS. Um, as of course, different champions at uh, di different regions right now are playing on different patches. I think this is the first time, at least the first time I'm aware of, um, that uh, regions have been playing on different patches. A little bit of an interesting one. As here, we... I say it's going to take a good amount of damage. Not bad by the uh, Valkos, unfortunately, though. Valkos lacking a little bit of mana here. Alright, so Nico will take that Scuttle Crab. That fight has been won. Very beautiful W out of the Kai'Sa. We tried to budget, dodge it, but it was spot on. And so far, the Kai'Sa Valkos lane. Is putting on, down some hurt, but here this is where the hook comes in. Beautiful Valkos E though, as Valkos is expending a lot of mana here. Valkos now Oom, um, but of course. Out of mana, not nearly as scary as out of HP, which is uh, an attribute that we could for sure describe the Blitzcrank with right now. But regenerating, also one, right? Still has one potion in the pockets as well. As uh, we, yeah, as we are just, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, Blitzcrank, mm, memester. Very, very interesting. As, yeah, unfortunately, the Kalista just has to be uh, too scared right now, as now Vilkos has enough mana here, approximately for an EW, which is a full stack. If that hits you. So uh, definitely not the situation you want to be in. Gonna see us here. Max range with Q. Try to just uh, stay alive. Very interesting. As of course the recall here. Is now a little bit botched. Between uh, the Blitzcrank and the Kalista. It means Blitzcrank comes back with full HP. Kalista just chilling out waiting. And uh, yeah we'll have to take the... Slower recall here. Lose a bit of priority. Or push out another wave, which uh, I would say is a question mark because Blitzcrank not that good at pushing waves, especially without his ultimate. So, yeah, I'm... Uh, okay, we're CSing well, though, so far. And... Uh, Alright, hopefully we have the money now to get ourselves some Berserker Boots because, of course, the Berserker Boots, those are huge. Kaisa W will cancel the recall here, as Kalista just has to understand, yeah, that uh, you just have to make sure not to get cancelled again, because if you get cancelled again, then you get locked into lane and it's an absolute nightmare. So we take the tier 2 boots, now we have the jump upgraded to the maximum, but the daggers, the daggers, the daggers. A lot of attack speed, but not a lot of AD, which uh, Kalista does like herself some AD to feed that, of course, spear scaling. But attack speed, of course, very, very good on Kalista early on. Makes you do very little damage, but 
you can avoid much more, you can play around people. Very important with something like the Valkos. Oh, very good cancel there, right? Jumps forwards, jumps instantly backwards. Not enough to get a hit there. Gotta be a bit careful, yeah. If the Valkos is able to poke you out here, this is an absolute nightmare. Because you want to hit that level 6. Oh, beautifully played by the Valkos. You want to hit that level 6 all-in power spike here versus the Kai'Sa and the Valkos. If you get poked out, then it turns the other way around. And that, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to be experiencing. Kai'Sa Valkos, pretty nasty combo if they uh, can hit their shots. Uh, we're assessing it all out. And we have a solid CS lead here still because of the pressure we had earlier on, right? And we will see whether or not the Blitzcrank hook. It is going to land. The Valkos flash, the exhaust dropped by both parties as we are kiting into the Valkos skill shots here. And we can be lucky this Valkos doesn't have his level 6 now. Valkos going to move up to the wave looking for the level 6 as Blitzcrank. Playing this a little bit questionably. Yeah, play... Oh, and that's... That's just GG, yeah. Oh, that is a fucking nightmare. This is, by the way, Blitzcrank who, uh, who did this. This is no one else but Blitzcrank. And that's a little bit sad. You know? That's, uh, that's a little bit sad. Alright, so 0 1 Kalista at now nowadays isn't straight up just a lane bully anymore does have very, very strong scaling. And, um, of course, with a Rage Blade is able to just absolutely delete something like the Swain, which is great, right? Any Drain Tanks? She's just gonna put a timer on them, right? And, uh, well, if you kill her in that time, then that's good. If you don't, then that's not so good. As, uh, interestingly enough, here yeah, the Swain will be taken. The giant spelled first, opting in for some slow versus a Kalista and Yasuo. A little bit of a questionable choice. Maybe he goes for Demonic Embrace, but in general, I uh, yeah, I want to put a little bit of a question mark onto uh, slowing the movement speed of all these champions, right? It's good versus Warwick, of course. Not so good versus everyone else on the enemy team here. But uh, it is what it is. Getting some... Bremble Vest action in here can also be very good, but then again, Swain has a lot has a lot of items that he just is required to get. Okay, the Nico gang coming out together comboed with that ultimate as we're gonna pick up one kill, looking for the second one, and we will just take down the enemy team there. Beautiful gank by the Nico. Beautiful follow-up here by the bot lane. As yeah, the Blitzcrank, Kalista bot lane. Very potent lane at that level 6 power spike. You can throw the bl Blitzcrank in for that silence into knockup into the queue. Pretty much undodgeable combo in that, right? Where you just have to space it. Of course, that's not the only thing you can do. I think it's technically even possible to pull people with the Blitzcrank. Pull people towards the Kalista. So Blitzcrank queues and right as that hits, you are. And then people get pulled towards the Blitzcrank there. Dodging that one, very important as the Kai'Sa does have her ultimate available here. So it can become a little bit of a dicey situation. As Valkos will be looking for that standard here. Shutdown taken on by the Swain who does have his Rhylize complete here. And seems like uh, he's doing well enough for himself. As of course... Okay, Lissa now gonna be playing in the mid lane here as Yasuo will be able to take over the bot lane wave. Unfortunately, no one really able to hold the bot lane turret. I think Blitzcrank should have been there, could have been there. Could have at least altered the wave, something like that. Well, no, he could not have altered the wave actually, but could have still uh, messed around with the Kai Kai'Sa just a little bit. Right now, Kaiser will get a plating and we lose all of that golden XP. For a couple of wards on an objective that's not coming up soon. Which is the dragon here, right? So a bit of a question mark, but at least fundamentally he is uh, placing the wards, then recalling to have fresh wards. 
in order to support in any other place. Callista is gonna take her back here. Does have the Rage Blade completed? Let's see what she else what else she buys. Okay. Just gonna stay alive here. Gonna stay out on the map, trying to influence the fights. Of course, right now we are very, very strong with that combo. Okay, the hook does not land. Of course, in this elo, hooks should... Uh, you should land maybe 1 out of 10 or something, right? As people can predict that. Quite easily, the higher you go. Looking for the Blitzcrank, uh, for the Hecarim here. The Hecarim ultimate. Is he seeing the Kai Kai'Sa for long enough? But she will be able to get out. Ooh, beautiful double knockup here. Is Kai'Sa not able to follow? We're just throwing our support in there. Not really trying to help anymore. It's totally fine, to be honest. Warwick, will he be left for dead as well? I mean, right now he's looking very good. He's gonna opt into that fight there. Alright, running away. Health is dropping awfully low, but he will stay alive so far as Ka Kaisa finds the all-in onto the Kalista. He will take her down if that is not a tongue twister. I don't know what is. Of course, with the ultimate there. Managed to get the trade, but pretty good for Nico as she will get the counter trade there back. Get the counter trade back? Yes, uh, I just said that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a professional caster, of course. As, uh, yeah, this Yasuo is looking mighty scary. I'm not entirely sure how Nico works together with Yasuo, but I believe that Nico knock up is going to be extended by Yasuo, but then it gets extended. You do lose the stun right after it, though, so it's kind of a nothing in this combo, right? But of course, the Kai'Sa ultimate, much stronger, much stronger knockup there. Much easier to hit knockup as well. As, okay, we do hit the Swain so far. No, ultimate's huge Swain pull there. The never move coming out strong. As Swain is unbenching the Kench. Or in this case, unbenching the Rylice into... Standard built again. Very interesting build. Oh, we missed the Q. Wall a little bit too thick. Just like this Hecarim. It's gonna be interesting as we are just fighting for... <laughs> We're just fighting for this objective. Doesn't really matter that much, but Swain has no ultimate, so we can just run them down. See here, the knockup doesn't come into the Kai'Sa, who's able to trade some damage back, but good enough as Valkos will find himself between well literally a wall of rock and of course the uh, not so comfortable end of the spear also called the tip all right so right now Nasus in a little bit of trouble as Nasus do be you know Nasus, high ranks, very easily punished, very easily dove in the early parts. Alright, so we're gonna take down the Hecarim here. Exhaust was available, so nothing will come of that. Let's see if the uh, Yasuo goes for the Gale Force build hereafter. So far, it definitely looks like that is what is going to happen. But we will find out as Kalista will take her recall here as well, I would assume. Get ourselves the hurricane. Now we're staying for another wave. It's not a bad idea. You shouldn't just open up that turret to everyone, right? Setting up some spears. Trying to get some potential poke out there. Oh, we kind of jumped into that one almost. It's a dangerous one. As we will take more dirty farm. Looking for a second item here, maybe? I'm not entirely sure what we are doing. Uh, we're definitely looking for money. Overstaying a little bit here. Which uh, is kind of scary, but... Power will be taken down here. 
And you can see the respect coming out onto that Blitzcrank Callista combo. As the Swain will be rotating here now, the bot lane plays a little bit more aggressive and we will see. No one really taking that bait though. Clearly, people do understand what that means. 160 CS to 140 for the Kaiser here. So, very good situation for the Kalista. It's quite far ahead. Runan's Hurricane and BF Sword here in the pockets. As we're setting up for a dragon here, Runan's Hurricane, of course, helping us push this out very quickly and transport the spears here onto everyone. We're going to cancel the Nasus. Yeah. Even looking for some damage onto the Nasus. Asus has to be a little bit careful here and the huge Nico ultimate into the knock up out of the Yasuo and that is absolutely huge but Swain looking to turn it around here as the Kalista will stay strong and Kalista as we said this earlier right is able to just put a timer onto the Swain drain tank issue Swain gonna flash on out of there nothing unbenched this time as Swain was able to turn that fight around pretty well but not quite enough here, unfortunately, as he was a little bit too late to show up there. Blue team allowed to pick the fight with the Nasus who was recalling on a ward without being aware. And the Kalista looking mighty strong so far. This is definitely pretty good, especially uh, given the fact that she's an AD carry, has two items here, right? It's a very good performance, very good damage. And of course, able to just kite out people very well. We'll be picking up the red buff here. And uh, that one gets shared with the Nico. I believe, right? Nico does have... Yeah, of course. So, yeah. I think this will be shared. We don't really see it right now. Which is not a question mark. I think it should have been. Not entirely sure what is going on there. There's three dragons stacked here for the blue team. Which means next dragon will already be the soul. It is only an ocean soul, but... An Ocean Soul actually does go pretty far against the Swain. So not too terrible of a situation. Also, it does go very far versus something like the Velkos. This build, I did cover it on my channel before. The standard into something like the Night Harvester. Just trying to get maximum damage out of that Velkos pick. In the support position, of course, right? If you're a mid laner, then uh, this might not be the optimal item because then uh, mana costs do become a little bit too high for this to work out. You are kind of permanently oom if you play this build in mid lane. Okay, we're hooking the Swain into our AD carry. A little bit of a question mark, but the AD carry strong enough you're able to take down the Swain. Good predict here by the Valkos, but it's not going to be enough as he's looking for some damage. Doesn't get the stacks here. As the maximum range ultimate, though, is zoning away the team very well. This Velkos is doing a army's worth of work. But still, the team is going to be pushed back. And eventually, we are going to be able to put, eh, catch up. But yeah, you don't want to walk into the Velkos. And honestly, you don't really care. Just take down the mid lane turret here, to be perfectly honest. I think, this, I think the job here should have been one person stops their recalls the rest just takes down mid lane inhibitor all right now we are just looking for the kills this is eu fiesta west of course is blitzcrank making fucking 10 iq plays again just hooks the nasus on out of there nasus will collect him and then we'll just walk it off is the hacker in the swain here potentially there to punish but no nasus just goes down and this could have been a pretty big nightmare if the Hecarim was a little bit stronger and was able to punish that there. Bit of a question mark out of the Blitzcrank, but I mean, we've gotten used to that over the course of the game here so far. As of course, he is still playing better than I would. So don't get it twisted. And uh, no, I definitely didn't steal that from uh, mid -beast. I'm I'm... For sure not a mid-beast admirer. Why would I be? As a very speedy horse, we'll be looking for a, well, equally as speedy wolf, to be perfectly honest. But the Kai'Sa, not going to connect so far. Is Warwick able to run out? No, but Nico able to turn it around the hook onto the Velkos. will cancel that ultimate as 
This Warwick just does not die. And just like that, four people of the enemy team here go down once again. Nasus currently at a point where it seems like he can just 1v1 the Yasuo. Ooh, manages to cancel the Yasuo through the wind shitter shield. We'll stop that recall, but I mean, Yasuo is not going to be uh, too sad about being a little bit delayed here. As you can see, of course, he ends up in the map at way, way too early anyway, right? As uh, the dragon is the potential objective that we're playing around right now. But of course, the true objective here is winning a team fight and ending the game. Elder Dragon going to be another six, six ish, seven minutes delayed here. So, uh, optimally winning a teamfight just wins us the game right now. But, Dragon, nonetheless, very strong objective as Kal Kalista very good at securing that one. We'll just be setting up the spears and just smiting that one away. Doesn't really care. Nasus, you can go home. And honestly, here, Nasus with the teleport. But beautiful fear into the wall here by the hacker. Miss Kalista is going to flash on out of there and kite it out. Now, Swain left alone here as... Yeah, the, the timer's ticking. And Swain did flash, but the timer went off a little bit too quickly there as the ace is picked up by the Kalista. Very beautiful play here. Picking up that stopwatch and stop watching there. Otherwise, probably... Yeah, we're probably dead there as Kaisa just caught. Jumping in after a stopwatch Kalista. A little bit of a sad face emoji, but very well played here by the Kalista. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And do make sure to tell me what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.